my name is Amanda Goldsmith, and I'm the Spotted Lanternfly Technician at the Lancaster County Conservation District. I'm back again with an updated sticky tape video for the invasive spotted lanternfly. Since the creation of my video using chicken wire, Penn State has updated the recommendations based on research and observations. Fiberglass mesh, window screen, or any variant of that product is now the preferred barrier for sticky tape instead of chicken wire. Fiberglass mesh is just as cost effective as chicken wire and it will protect smaller animals like insects and praying mantises and bees and other pollinators that we're happy to see. And it better protects bigger wildlife like birds and bats. The best part about using this mesh is that it will actually trap more adult spotted lanternflies than not using a barrier. When they call, crawl up the tree, they'll normally just try to get off the tape. And they're pretty strong, so they would get off. With this mesh, they'll crawl up, try to hop off, and the mesh will trap them in and forces them right back on the tape. A lot of times they get stuck on the wings then instead, which really keeps them there. In just a weekend, we've completely filled up a couple of trees with lanternflies using this method. So let's get started. Here are the materials you yeah. will need fiberglass screen mesh or any other plastic or wire mesh, sticky tape, DBH tape or a tape measure, an X-Acto knife if you have one, scissors, and thumbtacks. First, measure out the diameter of your tree so you know how much mesh you will need. For the mesh, Measure it out equal to the diameter of the tree and then add an extra one inch of mesh per two inches of tree diameter. For example, a tree that is 12 inches in diameter would need an extra six inches of mesh. If you are measuring the circumference instead of the diameter, follow the same guidelines. Measure out the mesh equal to the circumference of the tree and then add an extra one inch of mesh per two inches of tree circumference. The point of this is to provide enough extra mesh to create a skirt for your tree. It's better to have more mesh at the end than less. You can always cut it down. Once you know how long the mesh needs to be, cut it. As for width, I'm using mesh that is 36 inches wide and I'm cutting it in half. A width around 18 inches works best for the technique I'm about to show. For the sticky tape, Measure it out equal to the diameter or circumference measurement you just took. I add an extra inch or two to add, allow overlap. We want to only use half of the width of the entire roll to reduce surface area for wildlife to get stuck. Either rip the tape or use an X-Acto knife to carve it in half. Then cut the tape the length you previously measured out. Then. Tightly wrap the tape around the tree about four feet high. Secure the bottom of the tape with thumbtacks so lanternflies can't get underneath. Finally, grab your mesh and create one to two inch pleats all around the tree and secure each pleat with a thumbtack. I put the mesh a few inches above the sticky tape to give it some room. For the first pleat, leave an extra inch or two for the end. Continue to make the pleat straight tight and puff them out as you go. For the last pleat, I left an extra inch or two and secured the overlap with a push pin. This may take some practice, I actually had to redo a section or two just to get it right. So don't give up. One other way that you can give the trap that puffed out shape is to use that leftover chicken wire that you had banded around your sticky tape, unravel it, and then weave it through the bottom of your trap and then bend and mold it that way. You could also just buy some thin wire from the hardware store if you were interested. With that, you have a complete trap that reduces your chance of invertebrates and other insects and birds, bats, and other wildlife from getting stuck. Change it out as needed. I know for us we had to change it out over just a weekend, but it may take a week or a couple weeks for you to need to change it out. Remember, if any wildlife like a bird or a bat does get stuck in the tape, 
do not remove the animal from the tape. You could easily break their bones, break their muscles, and cause even more damage. So instead, what you should do, leave the animal alone, cut around the sticky parts, put paper towels on any exposed sticky part, and call your local rehab center. They will be able to take care of it, give the animal some pain medicine, and hopefully they'll be able to revive the animal. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Remember to check out Penn State Extension's fantastic resources. Check your vehicle before you leave. Keep on switching.